morning. I'm Wanda with Jimmy Branch Homestead. And today I'm, I've got a special treat I'm so excited about. I'm planting blueberries. So now's the time when you can find them in the nurseries. <clears throat> and I actually got these at Walmart. These are eight inch potted plants. So they're <clears throat> already more established. Um, and the kinds that I'm planting today, I have two different kinds. I have the blueberry Elliot's. <clears throat> and the second kind is the sweetheart. Um, and a lot of the blueberries require another <clears throat> kind to be planted with them for cross uh, germination or um, so that they, excuse me, cross pollination. There we go. Um, so this should be real quick. I'm just going to get these put in the ground. I have a little shorter shovel here that is great for using in these raised beds. <clears throat> and I want the plant to be fairly close to where the watering system is going to be so that it, to make sure it gets plenty of water. Now my beds have settled down over the last year so I will have to also be adding some dirt. Okay. Now blueberries like very acidic soil. So I will be adding some rhododendron and azalea food to help them. The soil in these raised beds is composted soil. So <clears throat> wood chips and such, I put it in here last year and it continued to compost. Now it's nice and dark and rich. <clears throat> I hear my husband. Okay, so I have some food for rhododendrons and azaleas. <clears throat> and it takes, for one to two in foot plants, four tablespoons per, per plant. <clears throat> that was one. Two. Three and four. Okay. And then I'll come back and um, remember I, I have to add some additional uh, compost to the top of this. I'm putting about a foot or a little bit more in between each of these plants. Look at that nice dark soil. So exciting. I think I'll put one of the tablespoons in the bottom of the hole from now on. There we go. The roots. It's my bird netting. Okay. Ah, there's a potato left from last year. tablespoons of this. A couple of twigs got broke off in transit. And I always keep any of my empty buckets for other things that I start. Right. 
or I have to move up to things I start to four inch pot and move up. <clears throat> Now I'm planting these because they have been being outside, so they're used to the outside temperatures. I have more that are bare root that I'll have to plant later um, because the soil will have to warm up to 50. And we've had some very warm days up in the 70s, <clears throat> but we still could have some very cold weather. Matter, tippy dog. Get back. Let me go grab some compost. If I can get it over here. And I'll be back in a moment. <coughs> And this is an organic potting mix, a premium mix that I'm adding on top of the bed here. Um, I did use rotted wood in the bottom. And so as it settled over the last year, <coughs> you can see I have about four to six inches on the top of my bed that I need to fill up. <coughs> <coughs> I usually buy this by the trailer load because unfortunately, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> our soil here is all rock and clay and no nutrition in it really. So a lot of our gardens are going to raise beds. I do have the big flat garden that I keep amending, and we'll talk more about that as I start doing the planting in the big garden. Once it gets watered in, it will definitely start packing down again. I don't know, I might be able to get by with these two bags for the four plants and then I'll have to put some more in the other end. But I wanted to get these planted in case it freezes. They're not sitting in the pots on top here. They're still dormant, and that's the best time to plant them. So as they start getting their leaves, they'll already be settling in. don't want to go up higher than what the crown was on the bucket. So I need to spread this part over. And like I said, as it's getting watered in, I'll probably have to add more. 
But this will get it a good start on it again. Bags when they're wet do get kind of heavy. So when I planted these boxes. I did put cardboard down at the bottom to help suppress any weeds from coming up and hold the dirt in better. <clears throat> A few layers, I think three or four layers in these big deeper boxes. And then I put logs down in, sticks and logs, about halfway up. And then I put dirt in on top of that. When you have to buy dirt, it's too expensive to have to fill up the whole, like this is a 12 inch deep bed. bag's going to do this perfect. The rest of this row is going to be planted, oh man, the dirt was pretty wet, <laughs> with bare root berries. <clears throat> and they're planted a little bit differently. So I'm not ready to do that, so that'll be on a different video. But that was quick work. I got these four in the, in the ground, got them fed, and they're looking good. So if you're enjoying this type of video, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and the best way that you can help us to grow our channel is by sharing our videos on your social media. Thanks so much for watching. Jimmy Branch Homestead.